Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Tech Ooh, yeah. City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a look at an SSD, more specifically two of them in RAID 0 and how they perform. This is the 600p M.2 NVMe PCIe drive from Intel. The 256GB version that carries a quite impressive 5-year warranty, has a silicon motion controller, and can theoretically do much higher speeds than standard SSDs running over SATA 3 especially two of them in RAID 0, which combines the drives for double the speeds, but at the expense of doubling the potential failure rate in this scenario. However, this is exactly what I wanted to look at since they are really cheap drives, especially for being an M.2 PCIe solution. So in installing these into my MSI Titanium motherboard, installation went pretty smoothly, and even the first benchmark, the ASSSD benchmark, which I consider more of a standard consumer, gamer benchmark, did quite well and pulled off some impressive figures. Though when I got onto the more intense benchmark, HDD Tune Pro, which pretty much tells me everything I need to know about a drive, since it either loads with a zero, mixed, or random pattern, it produced some really, really odd, and on that note, quite terrible performance figures. It was so shocking, in fact, that a standard hard drive would be a better option if you were doing any kind of intense file transfers or production work. For example, copying many large files from one drive to another. This, in my opinion, is unacceptable for two reasons. The first being in the real world, when you are putting this drive through heavy workloads, it will be wasting your time. And the second reason being, since something is clearly being stressed too hard, it can potentially cause your drive or even the whole computer to crash, which in a work environment is unacceptable as well. But you may be wondering why is this? Quite simply, something on this drive is being overloaded, as I said before, whether it be the cheaper TLC NAND flash memory, the memory buffer, or the controller. I just can't simply recommend this drive to anyone using it for a workstation in mind. Though that as it may be, the ASSSD benchmark score was still quite impressive, and if all you want to do is game and or have a very snappy experience without doing any intense file transfers, and the drive is going for a special price, then I could see this drive being a decent recommendation. Though there are two other M.2 PCIe NVMe solutions that I've already tested here. That is the Corsair MP500 and the Apacer Z280. Both are currently a bit over $200 and offer much faster speeds and have MLC flash based memory and don't have any performance issues when it comes to consistency. So I would recommend either of these drives over the Intel solution, even with this one being in RAID 0. Unless of course you need to install the small M.2 form factor and you are on a strict budget. So it may be an option worth considering if the price and usability are what you want from an M.2 SSD. But for the better part, there are much faster and more consistent M.2s already out there, albeit a bit more expensive. And there are of course 2.5 inch SATA 3 SSDs that perform more consistently for the same money. So the form factor is really the only thing going for this drive. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. Though if you disliked the video, then be sure to slam that dislike button. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Oh, and also let me know in the comment section below what you think of the 600p from Intel. I'd love to read your comments and opinions as always. I mean, would you just put two of these in RAID 0 and then go tell your friends about your tough RAID 0 solution? Anyway guys, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.